11 in three, two, one, go! Round four, match number 11 here in the upper bracket underway. Alliance number one in the red bumpers and Alliance number two in blue. Not an uncommon matchup here in match number 11. Our top two seeded teams trying to fight their way into the finals here on Hopper Field. Red Alliance will come out with a slight advantage, 65 to 61. Eight Coral now scored going into teleoperated control. And as always, we see this mad dash for Algae here in the first seconds of play. Both alliances getting as much as they can onto the barge. Blue Alliance doing this as well. And we've seen teams moving across the field into their opponent's territory to do the same. Timberwolves and Strike Force, these teams that we've seen all afternoon long, being the Algae bots in the other side of the field. They're doing it here. Two more scores into the barge for the Red Alliance. And they maintain the lead, 116 to 99. Another one coming in from Bumblebee here. And LG is the focus here early as these robots begin to switch their focus to a Coral. Neshoba Robotics starting to cap off level four of the Red Alliance Reef. They have two more branches now and make that one with two more scores from the Liger Bots and Neshoba. Blue Alliance has two branches open, 2200. BCR Blackout will secure one of those and now Blue Alliance dealing with the defense of Strike Force, the yellow and black machine out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. Despite that defense, Bumblebee moving around, but that knock was just enough to remove that coral from their grasp, and they're gonna have to go back and recollect. This is burning time off the clock for the Blue Alliance, but it looks like Bumblebee has regained control, and they score alongside BCR Blackout over on the Blue Alliance Reef. Red Alliance maintains their lead here, dealing with the defense of 11.53, the Timberwolves. They're locked down up on the near side of the field, trying to slow down Neshoba Robotics. 17 at 68 seems to work as Neshoba shifts their focus from the front side to the back side of the field, where their human players are waiting as well. Just under a half a minute left in play. Alliance number one has the lead 204 to 184. Lots of coral scored with this match. All three top levels filled up for the Red Alliance as action shifts to midfield. Timberwolves will be the first one there for the Blue Alliance. All six machines now tangling with these cages. They have seven seconds to get off the floor with three, two, one. Referees looking at these robots carefully and closely will go to the Red Alliance. Alliance number one takes it 251 to 219. And Alliance number one will be advancing into the Hopperfield finals here. And we will see them again in a few short matches. Alliance.